products. In today's video tutorial, I am going to explain when it's better to use the embedded sketch in the extrude or revolve feature, or when it's better to use the external sketch. So over here will be explanation why sometimes I use external sketch and sometimes I use the internal sketch. I will start from scratch. I will create a new 3D model and it will be sketch 01 here, for example. My explanation is, if somebody asks me, when is better to use the internal sketch? I will say that if you start to create new extra feature or, for example, real feature directly, the system asks you create a sketch internally. So what does it mean? You can select the sketch plane and the system will select automatically orientation plane and we are in the 2D sketch. Then, if you will create any shape, so create the sketch geometry, if it is revolve feature, create a center line and define dimension. You can create a little bit complicated shape. So, for example, you can create the another features directly, delete what is not necessary, and use the custom dimensions. Yeah. Or you can use the undo and you can delete opposite edges. Fine. The sketch is ready and you can confirm OK. If you will finish, the system will create internal sketch directly in the feature. So if I will create one more time, for example, extrude feature, I will select the sketch plane. I will create some shape as a matter right now and we will delete unnecessary edges and finish. Yeah, you will define internal sketch for extrude feature here. What does system do while you create internal sketch on the fly? One more time. I will create same shape with two circles first circle, second circle. And for example, I do not know because I am a new user and I will specify only new dimensions. So for example, 85 and 300, yeah. And you would like to finish and the system say, sorry, it's not possible to finish. You would like to exit sketcher or not. And then you think about what is wrong, what is not good and so on. If I will select no, because I do not want to exit the sketcher, but I would like to investigate direct sketch. Over here is the feature requirements and the system will show you the section must be constraint geometric entities, right? Basic requirements mean intersection entities are not allowed. What does it mean? You have intersection. And you would like to know where and what is intersected. So over here you have, for example, overlapping geometry. And the system will show you overlapping geometry. And again, if I will delete, for example, these entities, because everything is fine, but maybe you will create the arc, because sometimes you will create an entity, and you will create something like this, and then maybe you don't know that some edges is defined. What does it mean? Again, you can use overlapping geometry and system will show you that you have some entity on the same sketch. So what does it mean? Again, I cannot finish the sketch because if I will finish OK and feature requirements, the system will show me where the error is and I can see the warning. So again, you can specify that you don't want to use it. So I have used the undo or you can use the delete function. Right now, if you finish, everything is fine, yeah, because feature requirements, everything is clear. But another example, you will create something like this. So we will delete the entities or I will use the undo and I will recreate from this arc. I will use the right mouse button and I will set up construction. So the geometry looks good. Everything is defined. But if I will finish OK, the system automatically check if I would like to transform this sketch into surface or not, because the sketch is open. So if you will come from OK, the system automatically create the surface. 
So automatically jump from the extrude as solid, the system will recreate it to surface. Okay, sometimes it's necessary to create like this and you are agree. Or it is something like hint that if you will create open sketch directly for extrude feature and the system will transform it for surface, later you can select again the solid and the system will automatically create thin. So the system will define the thickness and again you can for example specify the value. In the previous tutorial you have learned that if you are working with a thickness you can specify that this is the dimension or the base shape what was created and offset is inside, outside and middle. So you can see how the system switch based on the created arc. So for example here better to visualize inside, outside, in the middle. Maybe this it was your final goal create something like this. But right now I will show you what is the difference if I will create the sketch at the beginning. I will create first feature sketch and then I will create extrude or I will create sketch and for example revolve feature or for example the web line and so on. But for the beginners I will use for now only extrude and revolve for better understanding. Okay, what the system do if you will create sketch first? I will select the sketch system, select again the orientation plane and jump into 2D. Right now I'm working about external sketch and I will create something similar. So for example 300 and again some smaller curves here and some dimension for example 8, it doesn't matter. And I will finish. Perfect. It was possible to finish and you can see that system finish the sketch but you remember that do not check if it is okay or not what does it mean if i will jump one more time by edit definition to the sketch and i will create overlapping geometry as before yeah and you think that everything looks good because it was your idea that it looks like and then you create some additional lines because you make some mistakes you don't know and you finish perfect looks good and right now question is that you would like to create extrude feature based on this sketch. Mm, sorry, it's not possible. So you have to be really good one in the sketch if you are a beginner, if you would like to create sketch and extrude feature, another external sketch, another revo feature, new sketch and again new extrude feature. This method is mostly used by Inventor user, SolidWorks user or Katia user. They always use the model tree based on the sketch and feature, sketch and another feature. Quick example, so I will delete everything and create some example like for example Inventor users model. So they will create first sketch they will create the shape, for example, and they, it will be revolve feature in the future. So fine, say, select some dimension, finish OK, then use the revolve feature, finish. Then you would like to continue, so you will create the sketch, you will use the previews, then you would like to see how it looks like directly in the sketch plane, you can use this icon, clip model, and 2D. And again, you can create a circle, for example, here, and finish. And again, you would like to revolve around axis, and you would like to cut. If you have a look in the model tree, it's a first sketch, and the revolve one, use the sketch one. If you see here the sketch 2, you see the revolve use the sketch 2. This method is mostly used like I mentioned for Inventor or Katia user, for example. I think there may be more CAD software, but it's fine. Maybe you agree with me, maybe not. So please leave the comment and you can think about and communicate and try to speak with another user under my video tutorial in the comments. Yeah, thank you.
but I'd like to continue. Why is better or how it is possible to manage this shape or how it's real possible to reuse the sketch more than once times and then make more sense to use the external sketch. So let's continue. And we will create separate sketch. And again, we can use the front, for example, as a sketch plane. And I will create the similar shape. And center line will be here. OK. Change dimensions or create new one and confirm OK. Perfect. In the first, I have a sketch one. I'd like to revolve. But in reality, maybe I don't want to revolve to 360, but for example, 90 degree. Great. It's my ID that I would like to finish object. And same sketch, I will extrude. So what does it mean? You can use feature as sketch more than once. And then you say, OK, make sense to create only one sketch and reuse for example, for revolve and extrude, or you can combine the other uh, features where it's possible to use the sketch. And after, if you will do it like this, and you would like to change the shape or your ID in the future, you don't need to looking for where is the sketch used, because you can see sketch one is used for revolve one and extrude one. And if you would like to change the shape or dimension, you can simply to edit, and you can specify your custom value. So for example, 180 and diameter will be, for example, 20 only. Yeah. And this one will be 15. So you will change and regenerate and looks good. Perfect. So over here was example, how to use one sketch for more than one feature. 